every depth we have put in three pairs of green Lipton tea and rooibos Lipton tea. The weight of the tea bags are measured before they uh, went into the container and the containers will be attached on the uh, specific depth. After 90 days the tea bags will be retrieved by the dive team and we will uh, let it all dry for three days. After three days we again start to weigh the amount of tea leaves that is uh, still in the bags and we send this data to uh, NetLake. Uh, in that way we know some information about the decomposition rates of the put van Ekeren. Decomposition entails the breakdown of dead material such as dead organisms, tree leaves and water plants. And it is a vital process in the circle of life. Without decomposition no nutrients would become available for plants and algae to grow on. Microbes such as fungi and bacteria play a big part in this decomposition progress. To be able to compare the rate of decomposition across lakes in Europe, the same litter will be placed in the same period in the various lakes. In this case we use the Lipton tea bags. In this, this way we can explain differences in decomposition between the lakes, but first of all we have to classify them to their climate. For example, we measure the temperature with the sensors. But we also look at the trophic status. The trophic status scale of a lake says something of their biological productivity. A low visibility combined with green color and the white reed leaves indicate a high trophic status because they indicate a high nutrient content in the lake for algae and plants to grow on. Here we are at the Put van Ekeren. The Put van Ekeren is a lake in Belgium close to Antwerp and it measures around 20 meters deep maximum. We decided to put the tea bags also in the center of the lake in the deep range. We started at 15 meters depth, on 12, on 9, on 6, on 3 and on 1 meters. At the 1 meter depth we also put the temperature sensor and we made a special tea bag setup for a placement at the sediment spot close to the border of the lake. It's very obvious that we need divers to attach these tea bags on the anchor chain of the buoy in the middle of the lake. So we put in uh, some teams uh, and we gave them the, the tea bags in their special containers. For the tea bags on the sediments near the, the, the border of the lake, we used a team with scooters. So uh, we could go further away and we are more sure that the sensor and the tea bags are not uh, vandalized by other divers. As part of the research, um, we also do a SEGI measurement. And we do it at the anchor chain. So the divers that are in the lake, we ask them to uh, do the SEGI measurement from the surface before they go down with the tea bags. And uh, in this particular case, we measured five meters of uh, sunlight penetration with the SEGI disc. Uh, at Put van Ekeren, we are doing a long time of horizontal measurements of the visibility. Um, that's not a specific question in this research, but we put in the data, maybe, uh, maybe it can be used for uh, 
uh, some uh, analysis 